knowledge apart from application falls short of the Most High's will for his children. Okay, he wants us to apply as we learn so that we can change and we can grow. Now, ask yourself, are you growing, right? If you are not making progress, you are not truly living according to the word of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. If you are not developing, advancing, maturing, growing by making spiritual progress and also physical progress, then what are you doing with the grace and knowledge and life and wisdom that you were given as a blessing from the Most High? You have to move forward as a son or daughter of the Most High. You have to make decisions. You have to make moves. You have to take self-accountability. With that accountability, you should be asking yourself, am I in the same position as I was last year? Am I in the same position that I was in 2021, in 2020, right? As the Passover comes up for us of the faith, for us in the truth, we know the new year is actually barely about to come, right? In, in around two months. You need to take a look at your progress. Take a look at your direction. Many know the right answers, but don't apply them to their life, right? Many can quote scriptures. But they still don't make the changes that they need to make according to the scriptures, right? I know many brothers and sisters that say something that sounds good, but they don't actually do it, right? Holy day after holy day, year after year, month after month, in the same place, in the same position. You have to be able to look in the mirror and look at where you're at now. Are you further than you were last year? Can you see the spiritual growth in your life? Can you see the growth in your homestead, for example? Can you see the, the growth in your physical fitness, for example? Or are you slothful and lazy and more out of shape and more overweight and, and not taking care of your temple even more so, right? making a lot of changes here on the land and stuff to prepare for the future. And the other day, uh, my brother, he was like looking around. He's like, man, do you ever just step back and think like I've done so much work? And I told him I, every once in a while I do. But more than that, right, I think of how it says in Proverbs where no vision is the people perish. I have more so have vision of, OK, this is going here. This is going here. Right. I'm finishing up putting the fence today and. I could see it before it was even up, right? So you have to be able to ask yourself, can you see your progress? Or are you in the exact same position that you've been for months or years? Especially you brothers and sisters that have been baptized, right? Everything in life is about advancing and developing and growing. Look at children, for example, right? About to have my fifth child in most high willing less than a week. Right. Look at them. They grow and they develop over time consistently year after year. They don't just take a year off where they stop making physical or, or mental or spiritual progress. Right. Me and my rib were reading Matthew 25, 14 through 30 yesterday, the parable of the talents. Right. Even my son gets this con concept and he's only five years old. You have to take the talents or the blessings that the Most High has given you. And you have to use them to make progress. You have to grow with them, right? You have to be like the servant that had five talents or that had two talents. You can't be like the servant with one talent. You have to use them to benefit and increase you, your life, those around you, and the kingdom. But most people are like the servant with only one talent. They bury it in the dirt, right? They don't use it. You don't use your, your manhood, your womanhood, your ability to nurture, your ability to be a good husband, a good wife, a, a good servant. You don't use it. And if no progress comes out of it, then no blessings are reaped from something that the Most High gives you, right? If you don't use it, you don't benefit from a lamp that you put in a closet or that you put under a bed, right? 
You don't increase from wisdom that's hid or that's not applied. There's no blessings that come from staying in your comfort zone. This is what a lot of people don't understand. Staying in your comfort zone is not going to get you anywhere. People want big blessings, big rewards. Well, guess what? You have to make big changes. You have to make big progress and you got to put in a big amount of work in order to get those big blessings and big rewards because you reap what you sow, right? People want 10 talents, but they haven't even done anything progression-wise with the one talent that they've been given, right? Because that's what, that's what people don't understand. That one blessing, that one talent is a test. It's a test to see if you're going to be a slothful servant and do nothing with it, which makes you a wicked servant, right? And not increase and make progress with it. But then you still want to ask for more. You still want to ask for other blessings, right? You have to first move forward and increase with that first talent that you got. With that two talents that you got. You and your family, me and my family, our futures depend on whether or not we are progressing and growing spiritually, physically, mentally. Right? You can't be in the same position, the same spirit, the same mindset, the same fear, the same environment, wicked environments as you were last year. And the year before, and the year before, and still be a faithful servant, right? Because like, like I've read in the past few lessons that I've done on YouTube, Sirach 15 and 15, it says you must perform acceptable faithfulness. Performing is a verb, right? You have to perform acceptable faithfulness. Faith is not some thought. Faith is shown through your actions. Just like Noah, when it said he moved in faith and in fear, and he built an ark. Faith is going to cause you to make moves, not stay in your comfort zone or stay in place, right? So I pray that some of you brothers and sisters can see the times we're living in and make the changes and the progress necessary to make it through the times to come. I know that's something me and my house prays for every day. Luke 21 and 36, our Messiah said, pray always that you're accounted worthy to make it through what's coming, right? But with that prayer must come the work to back it up. The changes have to come in order to back it up. And it's not just mental changes. It's physical changes. Because faith without works is dead. And you must perform acceptable faithfulness. For those with ears to hear, I'm going to get back to work. Hope you all have a prosperous and growthful, if that's a word, growthful first day of the Babylonian work week. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Shalom.